Hey guys, this is Vashni from Medicobi. I hope you are all doing fine. Do work hard guys. Even if just for a one month or for a week or for a day, do work hard. Because you may not know. Luck may be your side, right? So just do work hard. Never ever give up. So, so in this video, I'm going to tell what are the mistakes I have done and what are the things you should do within just one month in this organic chemistry so that you can improve your chemistry marks up to 160 or 165 plus. So the first point is NCRT. NCRT is a base for both biology and chemistry as well as organic chemistry. So be thorough in organic chemistry parts of the NCRT. So in this, I just want to say a hint that I, what I have done and what my friends have done to improve the organic chemistry scores. So they divided into four parts, reagents, intermediate reactions, mechanisms and named reactions. So reagents, they wrote reagents, all the reagents and its uses and named reactions, all the named reactions, mechanisms, the hardest mechanism and the important mechanisms, intermediates, intermediates are so important but we all are making mistakes that some intermediates we just left it out, we are just omitted but intermediates are so important in every reaction guys please do note that intermediates are so important because in 2023 also there was an intermediate question so coming up to the second point second point is examples and book back questions so why am i mentioning particularly examples and book back questions is most of them read very thorough in ncrt but forgot about the ncrt examples book back and example of problems but these are so so important because they are based on the ncrt subject so please do revise or please do some, spend some time in NCRT book back and NCRT examples and example of problems because they are so important guys. Please do that because I didn't do that. So you at least please do. I have lost my marks in example of problems I think. Yeah, my friend told that there were many example of problems or example of base problems was in need 2023. So please don't do my mistake guys. So please do all these three problems or three sums. So, so coming to the third point, third point is PYQs. As I told in previous video that previous questions has improved or scored my marks or improved my marks to 150 plus in physics within just two months. So I'm just telling you to please uh, do all the PYQs of both three subjects physics chemistry and biology no and never ever leave for any subject because pyqs are so 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 important so please do pyqs for chemistry particularly organic chemistry also so now coming to the fourth error notes error notes are so important i have put in video of chemistry for two to three months back that how error notes are important for chemistry so if you want just you can go for this video and you can if you have much time, you can go and watch the video, re watch the video again. So uh, error notes are so important. If you make mistakes, you do note in error notes or you, you know that if you come in, if you summarize the error notes, you know what all the mistakes are doing, what all the questions which are important, what all the mistakes you are doing again and again. So please do note or please do refer your error notes. If you are not taking error notes, please at least by now because I think your model um, uh, exams has been going on right so at least by now just please do take error notes error notes are so so important guys and the fifth fifth one is question papers question papers are so important i know even every institution sir would mention that how many questions or many many questions you put you would be so experienced you would be well versed in the subject so please do more question don't set a limit for that so if you want if you don't have time for a particular lesson so just go for pyqs then if you have much time then you go for uh other question papers so i'm gonna say how you should do questions in order so first do pyqs of particular lesson and your star marked problems i told that the important problems you should star mark so the star mark problems and the third one and the third one is your institution questions and the fourth one is other institution question papers do go by this order and the point the last final point is your star mark problems star mark problems is very important i you may have written your star mark problems in error notes i guess so you can refer your error notes also but star marks problems are very important i told in starting up before two months that if any problem you feel difficult or important or you can you're making again again mistakes do refer in your error notes or put just a star mark in any color anything just for your reference so do that so the order again i'm saying the order first ncrt ncrt and i i told you the four divisions and second second is your ncrt examples exemplar and uh 
book back questions and third third is your pyqs very very important error notes much more important and question papers of your institution or other institutions and the star mark problems please do follow this guys i know it's going to be so hard emotionally and physically as the exam is nearing by please don't ever give give up be strong guys you can do you will do remember that and please do uh, give some suggestions in the comments so that i can prepare for your next video and so that it would be useful to you also guys and thank you for listening to this all the best guys do well best of luck you please to hit the subscribe button guys so that you can get more videos of mine thank you